Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to continue creating your custom widget. And things have changed since I last did that series. It's over a year now. And you'll see that we have this new favorite placeholder in here where you can actually right click on a widget and then send it inside your favorites. But in my case, I want to send the TechiPress widget in here and then I can actually remove this other one because I don't use it. And with this quick access, I can actually just get this and drag and drop it every time I need it. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to actually show you how you can navigate correcting the errors that you get on your custom widgets. This is a thing that happened when we're transitioning from Elementor 2.8 into 2.9 and sometimes even to 3.0. So you're going to see some of these things because the way Elementor was coding its plugin has since changed. So they have deprecated some methods and they've actually moved them into new files. And that's why we have this kind of issue. So I'm going to update this and then let's go and see how it would look on the front end. So I'll click view and you'll see that there is no issue here, but on the back end, it's showing up. In some particular cases, you're going to have your front end having some errors as well. Now, how do we fix this? I'm going to go back here and read the message. It says the underscore content underscore template method or function is the one that's deprecated. And they tell us that we can use the elementor slash controls underscore stack and then use the content underscore template method. What does that mean in ordinary terms? Sometimes you might find this hard to find, but essentially because Elementor is written in object-oriented programming, we have classes being called like this. So for example, if I say use Elementor widget underscore base, I mean go into the Elementor namespace, then find me this widget underscore base class. When I click on this, you'll see that this is an abstract class. Similarly, in this Elementor plugin, we should be able to find the class that has this function, which is content underscore template. We should be able to find it in the controls dash stack dot PHP file. I'm going to go inside here and we'll see that this is a protected function. And if I go to the top of the file, you'll see that we're in the Elementor namespace and the class is called controls underscore stack. So we are on the right track. We found what we actually need to use. So I'll duplicate this and I'm going to change to be the controls underscore stack. And that means we can actually now access the control dash template method in here. So I'll save this. I'm going to go back to my browser. I'm going to reload this page. And when I come back here, you'll see that we don't actually have this issue anymore. And even if I go back and drag a new widget item, we don't have that message displaying about having a deprecation. Now, deprecations don't mean that the whole thing breaks, but it's a nice way in which WordPress helps you to phase out as a plugin developer and also communicate to your users and people who extend the add-ons that this thing is not available anymore. Please use the correct one. So we fixed this issue and that's what I wanted to show you in this video. In the next video, we're going to be able to add our items that allow us to choose the menu that we want to use. So we should have a new item in here that allows us to choose the menu that we want to use. If you are interested in that, then look out for the next video. Otherwise, enjoy whatever you're coding.